There's been a lot of speculation about the Republicans not wanting to give more stimulus checks and more stimulus relief money. Now, this article just released yesterday from CNBC titled, Trump administration warms up to sending out more coronavirus relief money. Now, this is leading us to believe that there is a good chance we'll be getting more money. Now, before I get into it, guys, please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Let's get right into it. So key points. One, Trump and his advisors said this week that another round of coronavirus stimulus could be coming. Two, Trump in particular talked about his willingness to send direct payments to Americans. And three, Congress is still divided over the current response bill as Democrats push for a bigger, larger, more sweeping aid and Republicans want to be more narrow and more kind of detailed with their approach. President Donald Trump and his advisors showed most, more support for a new round of, of coronavirus relief spending this week as ec economic damage from the pandemic mounts. The president on Thursday said, I think we're going to be helping people out and getting some money for them. As tens of millions of people lose paychecks and businesses struggle to survive with public health restrictions still in place in much of the country. He added that the U.S. could take one more nice shot at stimulus. Trump's advisors have echoed the sentiments. On Friday morning, economic advisor Kevin Hassett told CNN that another round of aid is quote-unquote pretty likely, saying he believes it's coming sooner than likelihood the U.S. will need more stimulus. Support has mounted in the White House as Congress fails to strike a consensus on how to lift a U.S. economy collapsing under the weight of the pandemic. More than 38 million people have filed jobless claims since the crisis started, and second quarter GDP is expected to plunge. Democrats have pushed for an immediate sweeping plan to push more spending, more spending money to individuals, expand the social safety net during the crisis, and make voting safer by expanding mail-in ballot access. The House passed a $3 trillion relief package fund last week. After downplaying the need for more federal spending, the GOP held, held Senate has started to open the door to a more narrow aid proposal. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell told Trump this week that the next bill should not cost more than $1 trillion, according to Axios. The president has generally showed more comfort with free spending than his Republican allies in Congress. Policymakers will, of course, have to pin down a lot of details. Democrats have pushed for a second stimulus check to individuals of up to 1200 and Trump appears to have embraced the idea. Congressional Republicans already backed direct payments once in March. But several other issues could prove thorny. While Democrats want to extend the $600 per week enhanced federal unemployment insurance benefit by six months, McConnell has said he opposes authorizing it beyond its July expiration. Democrats want nearly $1 trillion to help state and local governments cover increased costs and lost revenue due to the pandemic, a total the GOP will not embrace. Trump has also showed some reluctance to send more aid to states and municipalities. Meanwhile, Republicans want to pass liability protections for doctors and businesses as the country reopens. Democrats do not want to create a broad shield from lawsuits. White House officials have embraced the provision along with the GOP member of Congress. Members of Congress. Formal legislation talks between the Trump administration and Congress have stalled for now. The House will be in session for part of the week. It plans to pass a bipartisan bill that aims to encourage small businesses to rehire workers by easing restrictions on how they can use the government aid and receive loan forgiveness. The Senate plans to, to next convene on June 1st. So essentially, this is kind of highlighting the differences between the Democrats and the Republicans as far as what they want to include in the second stimulus package. Um, as the title states, Trump and the Republicans have pretty much agreed that we need some kind of relief. Seems to be leaning a little bit more towards helping businesses. Trump has agreed, though, that he would be willing to send money directly to the people. Um, so there you have it. If you liked the video, please like it. Please leave your thoughts below. What do you think? Do you think they should send money directly to the people? Do you think they should help businesses? Let me know below. Thanks, and have a great day.